Am I a sellout? Now, I made a video about this. Geez, I think it was a few weeks ago. It was when I was in the middle of filming my hands-on fishing course. I think I was on day like, I don't know, 12 or 13 of working, you know, my normal day during the day, uh, hanging out with my family. They go to bed and then I'm back to filming the entire night working on the course. And I probably went, I was a little too aggressive in that video. Um, I was overly tired. I was exhausted. I shouldn't have made a video in the first place. But now I want to revisit that. Am I a sellout? Now, if you followed my content for any length of time, you know, my big thing in the beginning was I didn't want to do any paywalls. I wanted all my content, everything that I did to be accessible and free for everyone, which sounds amazing on the surface. And I still do that. I mean, I have over 600 videos on YouTube completely free. I live stream all the time completely free. I respond to emails. I mentor people completely free. And I was planning on these courses that I've made so far. So I have three courses I've made, Intro to Hacking Methodology, Intro to AWS Pen Testing, and Hands-On Fishing that just came out. Real quick plug, hey, if you haven't enrolled in Hands-On Fishing, it's amazing. It is on sale for $24.99 right now if you use Early Bird 24 on checkout, uh, but that code only lasts until Wednesday. So if you want to get that, go ahead and enroll. Otherwise, it's $34.99, but amazing course, a lot of positive feedback from it. So thank you to all of you who've enrolled in it. But you'll notice each one of those courses costs something. Now, in my opinion, they're all like way cheaper than what I could sell them for. I really believe each course could probably be $100 to $200, but they're all under $40 total for you to get those courses. That being said, there's a price for them. And that wasn't my intention when I started making these. I mean, I even made a LinkedIn post saying, hey, does anyone have a platform where I can make courses? I wanna give them away for free. That was my intention. But things change and my thoughts change, my philosophy changed for a few different reasons. Number one, I noticed that people don't value free things as much as things that they pay for. That's just reality. I think honestly, one big example of this is Port Swigger Academy. Port Swigger Academy, hands down, is one of, if not the best resource for learning web app pen testing. And yet everybody talks about other platforms. Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, Pen Tester Lab. Not that there's anything wrong with those platforms, but honestly, when it comes to web apps, Port Swigger Academy beats all of them. But I think people undervalue the academy because it's free. But I noticed that myself for my courses, so like Introduction to Hacking Methodology, when it first released, it was completely free. A lot of people enrolled in it, very few people actually went through it. They were just stacking the courses. So when something is free, people don't realize the value of it. When you force people to pay something, even if it's a small amount, it helps them see the value of what they paid for and honestly helps hold them accountable. So that's, that's one thing I noticed on this journey. People don't value free as much as they value paid resources. The second thing I noticed is that supporting courses is a significant amount of time. I mean, I guess I could just like not provide any support, but I want to support people. I want to meet with them. I want to help them one-on-one. -on -one. So for all my courses, I literally offer one-on-one -on -one support for everyone. If someone has an issue, they often post in the Hacksmurder Discord. I reply within a day, usually much sooner, and I'll often check, jump into a DM with them and I will help them one-on-one -on -one until I'm able to help resolve the issue for them. Fully one-on-one -on -one support. If I'm doing everything for free, guys, that's honestly just exhausting. So that's a big part of it. I underestimated the amount of support that I would be providing for people as they go through these courses. Number three, my dream job, and I made a video about this a while ago saying that my dream job is a mix of pen testing and teaching. And I realized, shoot, if this is my dream job, why am I waiting for someone else to make my dream happen? Why don't I go and make it happen myself? And I was thinking, hey, I can provide very affordable courses at one-time payment for lifetime access, go above and beyond in the quality, so you're getting way more than what you pay for, but also make a little bit of income in return. And maybe, just maybe, I can use that income to create my dream role of doing a mix of teaching and mentoring alongside of pen testing. Because at the end of the day, completely free content, believe it or not, doesn't pay bills. And so I really had to make that shift. How can I continue to be accessible? How can I continue to make content? But how can I make my dream job happen rather than waiting on the sidelines and hoping someone else makes it happen? So am I a sellout? I don't think so. Everything that I make is still incredibly accessible. Not only that, but uh, if I check recent numbers, I think I've given away $6,000 in scholarships to my courses so far for people in developing countries. Now, if you're in the US and you're like, Tyler, can you give me your course for free? My answer is no. 
Like I know $34.99 isn't super cheap, but like go mow someone's yard. If you're in a developed country like the US, you can figure it out. Don't come begging for me to give you some a course for free. But for those in developing countries, those are the people that I have helped with some of my courses, not all of them. The hands-on fishing course, I'm a little more hesitant on giving that one away for free because the things that you learn in that can be quite dangerous. And so I am gonna potentially do scholarships in the future, but it's gonna be a much longer verified process. But that's what I've done. And that's the middle ground that I found so far. So first, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you to all of you who have been on this journey with me, who have hung around with me, who have uh, watched me as I kind of changed my mind on things and pivoted to different things. But I think I found a good middle ground. And here's kind of the, the takeaway for all of you. If you have a dream that you want to pursue, don't wait for somebody else to make your dream happen. Pursue it yourself. Now, I recognize not everyone can quit their job and do content creation and pen testing full time. I totally recognize that. But here's the thing. I could. I have enough in savings that if I don't make any money, I can at least try this for a few years and see how it goes. But honestly, I think it's gonna go better than I thought and it's been going much better than I thought. So that's my takeaway. Don't allow the comments on YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever, kind of the naysayers to determine your direction. You have the freedom to change your mind. You have the freedom to make mistakes and you have the freedom to pursue whatever your dream is. It's gonna be a lot of work. Not everyone's gonna agree with you, but don't allow those people to hold you back. So thank you everyone for being on this journey with me. Uh, we'll stay in touch. I have more live streams. I'll likely be live streaming almost every single night this month, at least that's my goal. Once again, teaching ethical hacking completely free. So go get my courses, go join Ko-Fi. Thank you for being here. I'm gonna continue my mission of making cybersecurity education accessible for anyone and everyone.